Michelle, and I'm here tonight, I guess, talking about um, Women Who Code, which is another meetup group here in Portland that I am a part of. I'm actually part of the leadership team for the last month. Um, and Ben asked me to talk about it, so I guess that's what I'm doing tonight. Um, <clears throat> So Women Who Code is actually a global nonprofit, not just a local group, um, spread across a lot of places, um, not just here. I think we are, it says 20 countries currently. Um, chapters all over the place, basically, um, and kind of doing a whole lot of stuff. Uh, we do scholarships for different like education things to kind of help get women more involved in technology fields. Um, Um, locally, we have 10 people on the leadership board. We're over 2,000 members, and we have put on 200 events in the last three years. Uh, you can find our events mostly on Meetup. Um, we have four different types of events. The first are networking nights, which are generally at different company locations. Um, and we'll have a panel or a single speaker, sometimes a couple of speakers, uh, usually women, um, if we can get them to talk about different aspects of their job, what they do there, um, their background in technology, or just other topics that uh, relate and come up for different events. Sometimes they demo what the company does and things like that. Um, we usually have them about once a month, I think. Uh, and then we also have study nights that have been in the, that we've started in the last couple of months. There's four different study nights we do. Um, one is JavaScript, we have a DevOps, um, design and product, and I can't remember the fourth one, but I probably should, since I help plan them now. <laughs> um, we also do workshops, which are kind of one-off events where somebody kind of helps with a different technology. We had one on Kubernetes last night. Um, we've done prototyping in the past, we've done like bootstrap, um, a couple different JavaScript ones. There was uh, Android development and iOS development that we've done in the past and we're always looking for more. And we have a hackathon coming up. Um, hasn't officially been announced yet, but it is gonna be, I think, September, October. Um, it's gonna be another IoT hackathon like we had last year. Not sure the theme or location exactly yet. Um, but we have a lot of events and workshops coming up between now and then that are uh, going to be kind of in preparation for it um, to just kind of help people get ready and up to speed. Uh, we do have a really big event coming up, which is the third anniversary celebration at New Relic. Um, it's on Monday, and we want a lot more people to show up. Um, so we're just trying to um, kind of promote it and let everybody know. Um, it's going to be really exciting. Um, all of our speakers are women engineers in leadership positions. Um, and yeah, uh, I guess from a couple different companies, we have people from New Relic, Envision, Intel, and Nike that are all speaking. Um, looking forward to that. Uh, some other events we have coming up are some of the study nights. Um, we are partnering with Angular PDX, which is another meetup, to do the IoT Progressive Web Apps workshop. And that's uh, at the end of the month. Um, and then middle of July, we have our next networking night, which is at Wyden and Kennedy. And I think that one's VR stuff, so that should be pretty exciting. Um, there's a lot of different ways to get involved. Um, you know, not just the women, but men too. Um, you know, you can always come to the events and support uh, women who want to be in technology and things like that. Um, we're always looking for people to do workshops, so if you do something interesting or uh, at work or just for fun and want to teach other people about it, um, we'd love to have more workshops set up. Um, and if you work for a cool company, we're always looking for new places to check out and learn more about, so uh, we can talk to me about setting up a study night workshop or a networking night or anything like that. Um, um, find us online, basically, pretty much all the different places, the same tag, WW Code Portland. Um, and then I'm supposed to talk about my story with them. <laughs> so I guess less of the what Women Who Code is and how they've helped me. Um, 
So I'm Michelle. I'm a software engineer currently at Stackery, which is an awesome place. Um, I have no formal schooling. I didn't do college very well. Um, and I think Women Who Code has been a big part of how I got where I am. Uh, so <clears throat> I started in San Francisco going to art school and was going to be a graphic designer. But they wouldn't let me into the program because it was too full. Uh, so I ended up having to move into the web design and interactive media and basically decided that the art was boring and the code was the cool part. Uh, so I dropped out of that and moved back to Palm Springs with my parents and worked for a small agency there called Graph Tech where I spent about a year and a half working on websites as a junior developer. Um, they basically hired me because I walked in and said, I know what HTML and CSS is. And they said, okay. <laughs> um, didn't really know anything apart from that. I'd never written JavaScript before. I'd barely touched HTML and CSS, but they were a small enough company that they were willing to give me a chance. Um, unfortunately, they were also a small enough company that meant that I couldn't grow. Um, and I eventually kind of got to the point where I wasn't able to do anything else on my own. So I moved to Portland and I started at the Tech Academy, which is one of the local boot camps here. And they forced me to stop being me and get out and go to meetups, which was awful. Um, <laughs> I spent some time after that doing freelance and some contract work and now I work at Stackery. Um, but basically before I moved to Portland, I was the awkwardly shy person who hated people, avoided social situations at all costs, and took failing grades in high school because I refused to do public speaking, even though I only had a class of 11 people, so shouldn't have been that big of a deal. Um, came to Portland, started going to events. My first meetup was a Woman Who Code networking night in July of 2015 at a company called AppNexus. And it was a really cool experience for me. Um, just kind of, I guess, being able to be around people who supported the fact that I didn't know anything and that I wanted to learn um, and you know, just willing to help. It was not something I was used to experiencing, but have gotten that from all the meetup groups here. Like Everyone's willing to help. They don't care what your background is or anything like that. Um, so got a little bit better. <laughs> um, so yeah, I moved up. I started. The school in March, I started teaching in June, went to my first event, and then good stuff happened. And um, Basically, none of that would have happened without the support I've gotten from, uh, from Women in Code. Uh, Katerina especially has kind of helped to move me along, send me to other events, pushed me into a leadership position because apparently I showed up to so many events that I was showing up more than most of the volunteers. So they all just thought I was already working with them. Um, and yeah, I'm now at the point where I go to too many meetups and my bosses, my friends, and Katerina have all threatened to uh, chain me to my desk or my car so that I can't keep going to meetups because I may have gone to nine in five days last month. And apparently that's a bit excessive. Um, so just, I guess, kind of, not sure a whole lot else what there is, but just it's kind of been an amazing experience working with women who code and totally changing kind of how I am and now standing here and giving a talk and only kind of majorly panicking. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs>